Welcome to Chamber Champions. I'm Derek Miller with the Salt Lake Chamber, Utah's voice for business. Each week, we take the opportunity to speak with leaders from business, government, education, and community service organizations who are making a difference in Utah. As a Chamber Champion, these individuals are recognized for their contributions and provided a forum to empower their vision and objectives. Today we're joined with Anne Marie Wallace, the State Director of the Women's Business Center, Utah. Anne Marie, thanks for joining me. Thank you, it's nice to be here. You know, for some of those who are watching this video who don't know about the Women's Business Center, why don't we start in the obvious place? Why don't you give us the overview? Great, thank you. The mission of the Women's Business Center of Utah is to create confidence, um, to create opportunities and experience success in business ownership. We do that in several ways. First is an individual mentor to help, as well as virtual and online training that helps women to learn with other women business owners. And how long has it been around in Utah? Gosh, we've been around for 23 years. We were established here at the Salt Lake Chamber in 1997. Um, even back then, the Salt Lake Chamber cared about the success of women business owners. I'm guessing you haven't been with the Women's Business Center for 27 years. How long, what is your history with the organization? I've been here for 10 years. I was a client before that for about 10 months. I was a client sitting on the other side of the of the desk learning how to start a business, became the business advisor, helping women for three years one-on-one, -on -one, and I've been the director for the last seven years. So let's talk about those clients. Obviously, like everyone else, they've been impacted by the pandemic. Are there unique circumstances that some of your clients have been facing? Yes, absolutely. I mean, we've all, it's unprecedented, all the words that we've heard um, everyone talk about them, but there have been instances where the pandemic has actually helped businesses increase their revenue, but for the most part, they've gone down. And I see the women really struggling, and, and all business owners, in knowing what to do, how to better provide their product or service to uh, a changing market or changing preferences. So I really see them doing two things. I see them status quo and kind of hiding, or I see women who have been brilliantly pivoting and really changing how they provide things to really be still relevant and helpful. Of course, you know, as a former small business owner and as someone who's helping small businesses every day, that there are lots of challenges with starting a business. One of the greatest challenges is just that hurdle of taking the risk, taking that first step. Have you noticed that impacted by the pandemic, that ability, that desire for individuals to take that first step? You know, I've seen risk-taking change. That's what I see. I see women who are a little bit more hesitant than they have before when they don't have the background or, or the information. But I also see, uh, you know, as an example of pivoting, which are basically starting something new in some ways, and an excitement if they have some sort of direction or if they caught on to an opportunity. So I see increased risk when they feel like they've found something and a little bit less risk when they're, when they, they're on shaky ground or aren't quite sure how to proceed. So that's one side of the equation, which is taking that risk and, and having that idea. The other side of the equation is obviously the market uh, and a, a, what, how the market will receive that idea. Have you seen the markets change during the pandemic? Absolutely. I mean, don't we all, you know, do our lives a bit different? You know, we're spending more on cereal and less on shampoo. I <laughs> mean, things have changed. So um, I, I've seen markets change quite a bit. And, and those businesses who don't stand for the status quo and really dig in to find out what the new needs or new preferences of their target audiences are the ones that are successful. 
So people love stories. Can you, are there a couple stories, clients that you've worked with, things that you've seen out in the marketplace? Absolutely. One of our clients has a dog sitting company where she would go into homes and have her contracted employees go into people's homes and watch their dogs for them. Well, when COVID hit, it was no longer safe to be in other people's homes or you would want others in your homes. So she pivoted her business to be a dog walking business where she would pick up the dogs but not actually enter their homes. She's been able to pivot to something people want. And also you've noticed that people are adopting pets more than they ever have before. So there's an increased need for pets and uh, services surrounding them. I hear a lot of people talking about this is my COVID puppy. So that must be what they're talking about. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, one of the wonderful things about the Women's Business Center and the work that you're doing is that it's very much one-on-one. -on -one. You get an opportunity to sit down, to hear what uh, those entrepreneurs are doing, how the idea that they have they want to take to market or, or how they want to see their business grow. But I'm going to ask you a question stepping away from that one-on-one -on -one and just very broadly speaking. If you have an opportunity to talk to uh, women-owned business owners um, or even minority uh, businesses, what would be your message to them? I would say if you've got something that you're passionate about and that somebody really does need it in this world, just make it your own and dig in. There are resources everywhere to help you. And right now, they don't cost anything. There is a need for what you have and find it and do your part. Small business is the backbone of this state and this country. And we need to have things that are not just from big corporations, but from the hearts of our individual citizens. The small businesses being the backbone of economy is certainly true in Utah. 90% of the businesses across the state of Utah, not just along the Wasatch Front, but even in rural Utah, are small businesses. And I love the fact that you talked about the resources that exist. Let's end on that note. My last question is, what are those resources? What can people expect if they contact you in the Women's Business Center? Great. Like I mentioned before, we offer advising. So you can sit down or via Zoom, uh, meet with one of our advisors. We have a total of three available and four coming soon. Again, one-on-one. -on -one. What do you need help with? How can I help you? Another is that we have virtual training where you can join a Zoom and hear from a panel of experts or from individual business owners. We record them and offer them as webinars later. So you don't have to be available at the exact time or the place that they're going to be. And we also have courses online. All of them are free right now. That's the Women's Business Center of Utah. We serve anyone who wants help with their businesses. We customize for women, but we're open to everybody. A few other resources available in our state include the Small Business Development Centers. They have a presence statewide in 14 locations. They're here in your community to help. Um, there are a few others, like uh, Utah's Own will help you with food products, and Ustar helps you with technology. Um, there are a lot of resources. So you can go to our website, wbcutah.org, and on the online page, you just scroll to the bottom and find all the resources that are available here in our state. Thanks for summarizing some of those resources. And thanks also for pointing out that because the consultation is available uh, online, because so many of those resources, including the courses, are available online, that it's also statewide. And I want to just make sure that people know that it's not just a Salt Lake City office. There's actually an office in rural Utah located in Cedar City. I've been there. It's a great office, and we have a great team there uh, ready to help people. And finally, just a reminder that these resources are free. So Anne-Marie Wallace, the State Director for the Women's Business Center in Utah, thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you.